What are we doing up at O Dark 30 on these crazy roads? Trying to catch a glimpse of the sun rising over the beautiful Himalayan mountains, of course. Little did I know that this would be the start of hundreds, if not thousands, of steps we would be climbing up and down today. Great exercise to make up for all that sitting in the car we did. Okay, we're all done with our sunrise. We're gonna head back to the hotel and get some breakfast and try to warm up because it's pretty chilly up here. Hello, good morning. As we hiked back down, we discovered that Birod also had an interest in herbalism and he was only too happy to share his knowledge of the Nepalese flora. Come on, yeah, you're gonna smell it. I think it smells pretty good, it smells very yeah. earthy. And this is really good for your blood pressure. Bottle brass. What are you? Because the flower looks like a bottle brass, like you use to clean the bottle. It does. Yeah. Are you using it? No, I smelled it. it smells like cinnamon. Yeah. Some type of wall grass. There was a special temple nearby that Birod wanted to show me that was bustling with activity from the locals at this early hour. We got to see a whole flurry of activities of people doing their prayers and offerings before they got started with their day. Everybody's favorite, more stairs. Oh, bay leaf, okay. We visited an incredible pagoda, the Shanti Stupa, or World Peace Pagoda. Being silent was compulsory, and it is these types of places I find that you can really feel the recharging energy as you meditate. The smell of incense burning, bells and chimes ringing, and the nature sounds that just naturally occur all around you really provides that authentic experience. Shops are empty, unfortunately. I'm sure because of COVID. Next on the list was probably my favorite part of the entire day a dark cave hike to Devi's Falls. We also made the short hike to see the top of the falls too. Well, that waterfall and that cave is pretty fantastic. In fact, that water system is so extensive that goes into the rocks, they still don't know where that water system ends up. That was so much fun to relax there. It felt so nice and cool. Now I think we're gonna be heading off to lunch already. Right after a workout shower, a little bit of a nap. I am going out to look for some supper and maybe take a little walk by the lake. 
and see what kind of stuff we can find in Popera. Beautiful Fula Lake. All sorts of crazy traffic. two pairs of earrings for 450 rupees. It's just starting to get a little cold outside, so I am at a Japanese restaurant of all places. I'm getting some udon because it's getting, yeah, I need something nice and warm to fill me up and they also have this really good uh, lemon ginger tea to go with it. And that certainly is in the spot right now. Oh my gosh, does this look amazing. I'm so excited. Well, that certainly hit the spot. That was delicious. I'm gonna be walking back to the hotel because we got another early morning up at six. Actually, gotta be down to the lake by six because that's when the good light comes in and I'm hoping that I can use my camera to get some really nice photos of all those boats on the lakes before they go out for the day as the sun's coming up. So, see you guys in the next one.